Okay, so we have a very nice patient today, and as we can see, baby's lying in a breech position. Um, the back is on the left side, the bottom's down here, the legs are flexed, the placenta is on the right side, and the head is up here. There's no evidence of umbilical cord around the neck or the body, and there are adequate amount of fluid around. So we've spoken about the external cephalic version and we've spoken about the risks and we have agreed to perform an external cephalic version today to try and get the baby turned around into the right position. So the technique that I do is called the soft touch tap technique and it's very simple now that we know exactly how baby's lying in the uterus there, were no evidence, uh, there was no evidence of uterine anomalies. Um, so we know exactly in a three-dimensional um, way, if you like, exactly how the baby is lying. The head is here, the back is here, the bottom is here, the legs are flexed, the umbilical cord is connected to the placenta and to baby, and it's adequate length of, an adequate length of the umbilical cord to perform the external cephalic fusion. So the first maneuver is just to try to get the bottom out of the pelvis. And here we know that the legs are flexed, so the feet are here and the bottom's here. And we're just tickling baby, and maybe mum as well. <laughs> putting a bit of pressure on the bladder, so don't be too, um, too worried. If at any point at all you're not happy, just say and we stop, okay? I can feel baby moving already, so this is a good sign. From time to time we can do an ultrasound just to confirm that baby is happy and to follow our movements as well. So I can see that the bottom is already out of the pelvis. So this is a good start. So the next maneuver that we do is to stimulate the gallant reflex. And this is where we stroke baby very gently through the maternal abdomen on the back. And I can feel baby already moving its bottom even further out of the pelvis. This is really good. There's no rush. We're doing things very slowly and very gently. And now I can feel baby's head a little bit more to the right side. Baby's very, very active. It's pushing the legs now. So this is really good. So it's almost in a transverse position. Maybe you can even see the movements across the abdomen. So sometimes what I do is I ask the mothers to help. And we can continue. So the head is so the baby's in a transverse position now. You can confirm that with the ultrasound. So at this point, we... How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? Great. So if you want, you can take your left hand mm -hmm. and put it exactly where my hand is here. Yeah? And I'm going to help you turn baby around. It's really good. And what you can do is you can pull up very gently. It's really good. Very nice. Very good. And if you can take your right hand and put your thumb where my fingers are, yeah, and put your hand flat onto the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we're going to do it together. Very nice. If at any point you're not happy, just say and we'll stop, okay? Don't you let go. Yeah. Continue, stay on the position. Really. So the heart's beating really nice. So you're going to push the bottom up and you're just behind the head. Yeah, so continue. And sort of make I'm a turn. Enough. You're not strong enough. Of course, you're strong enough. I'll give you a little bit of help. That's really good. Okay, so if you take a nice deep breath in 
and out. So we use your thumb, bring your hand like this, yeah. and put your fingers like this. Yeah, that's exactly the position. So like claws. Yes, it's really good. And keep breathing, deep breaths in and out. Yeah, keep doing that. So the head is now in in position. So really nice. Well done. Breathe is absolutely fine. The heart's beating really nice. And the head is coming into position. I'm just going to help stabilize. So you can relax. You did it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. Well done. Well done. So we just wait a little bit because the head needs to come down a bit further. So we just keep the head in position. And if you keep breathing, uh, deep breaths in and out. Yeah. So well done. So now we can have a, a normal delivery. We'll do a CTG to make sure that everything is okay. We'll do another um, a few um, measurements of the blood flow in the blood vessels. Have a look at the placenta. And when everything's fine, you can go home and just wait for baby to to come. Gosh, thank you so much. Yeah, well done. You did really well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it.